Okay. Now what will happen? I will keep my front wheel over here. Now I stop the car and I will go outside and I will show you. See, there is only one feet or less than one feet gap. I will try to perform front judgment here. See, I can't see from here, but I imagine the straight line. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Hope you are fine and doing well. So friends, today I will show you how to perform front judgment of a car. So there are many scenarios where you have to perform front judgment of a car. Suppose you are in a bumper to bumper traffic. So how you will maintain a safe distance? That is one thing. And suppose you are uh, trying to stop your car just uh, behind the stop line. Then how you will judge? Suppose there is a wall or some obstacle like wall or some car is in front of you. Then how you will perform front judgment? There are many scenarios. But friend, I only follow only one trick. And this master trick will help you to perform front judgment perfectly even if you do not have any sensor in in the front of your car you don't have to worry this trick is a master trick and this will never fail you at any kind of situation so friends you can see these are the pedals of the car right so now if i close the door you will see the front wheel is here this is my steering wheel and this is front wheel so the pedals are just behind the front wheel so you can see this car's bonnet is not very long and uh, after the front wheel is this is a very small distance okay so friends whenever you will feel that your leg is some um, at some straight line you will understand you will realize that is the path of the front tire so now i will close the door and i will check this mirror so what happens if i try to imagine another straight line at the bottom of the mirror then this straight line gives you the path of the front tire okay if you see from here so i will not move further from this point okay so what i will do friends i will just try to uh, move there and at the road curve i will show you how i perform front side judgment and you can see there is no one else with me i am shooting completely alone and no one is giving me any kind of hint from outside to perform front judgment of the car so friends i started the engine now i will go to right side okay and i will try to perform front judgment as i told you i will try to align uh, the mirrors bottom line with the road curve okay from here i can't see anything in front but the bottom line is far behind of the road curve okay i moved slight forward again slight forward again little forward there is no front sensor the bottom line is still behind the road curve i hope i can move a little bit further okay now i won't move further because from here it will be completely a guesswork okay now i stop the car and i will go outside and i will show you see there is only one feet or less than one feet gap and this is how you can perform front judgment perfectly so there were some grasses and for that reason i could not see it properly so if you do it again and again your perfection will increase okay so <laughs> i am feeling very much excited let me try it once again okay i reverse the car slightly and i will try to do it again over there okay here i will try to do it once more okay still now this curb is far behind i will go little further again little further i don't have to look at this, this mirror again further again some more bus i will stop here and i will show you how much i have done so again similar kind of gap i have maintained so the reason is that friends there is little amount of guesswork because you never know if this car is 
far away or if this curve is perfectly straight or not it may it may be somewhere uh, near to your car if it is not straight if it is slightly this side then your judgment may fail not because of your trick but because of the shape of the curve okay so this is how you can perfectly perform front judgment okay so friends here i will try to show you again how to perform front judgment you can see there are some cement slabs kept here one is here i will try to perform front judgment here see i can't see from here but i imagine the straight line from that slab and it is right now far away from the mirror so first i have to draw the straight line now it is far close very close and from here i literally can't see it so i can't see it right now i do not have any reference point right now so i won't move forward the car's bonnet is slightly smaller and it it is not visible from inside but if you are sitting inside a suv you may see it properly so let me check how far i have reached i believe there is ample space see the prox 2 ft gap this slab is over here so this is called shape gap and you should not proceed further if you can't see properly okay now friends what happens because of that gap i can easily turn right side without reversing let me show you i will completely turn right side give right indicator because i have that two ft gap so i don't have to worry i can easily okay cut towards right side another red signal see the stop line is over here i will check the mirror and just when the mirror comes here i will stop but so friends here i will show you uh, the front judgment using that pillar so my car should not move behind that pillar because there is another parking and another car parks there so i will use this mirror to perform front judgment okay let straighten the steering the place is very congested you can see okay now what will happen i will keep my front wheel over here okay not far from there okay just right here so now i will show you exactly where the car has stopped I must keep this amount of gap because another car is parked here. Okay, and I use this pillar and use here to perform front side judgment. I can see red signal is turned on here. I will go towards this side, so I will park my car over here. So now I will do front judgment. You can see the front bumper is showing over there. So until I so uh, until I can see the front bumper, I can take my car forward. but once it is not visible i have to stop there okay so friends i hope you like the video if you like it hit the like button and if you want to watch this type of video once again don't forget to subscribe the channel